guys and welcome back to my channel so this is a bit of an impromptu start to a video but i've just started work and i have gone in <laughs> for an appointment with a client um she told me to park around the back i've parked around the back and i've just got back to my car and someone has kindly parked in front of me um so i'm not going anywhere because there's a wall behind me um so i just uh, I just guess that I've got to wait. Um, I don't know where this person has gone, where they're from or what. Um, I may have to go and knock on some doors. Um, but yeah, this is great. Great. So yeah, I've got an appointment to have my brows done later today in my lunch hour quick whistle stop visit. And then I'm probably going to just chill in the garden just because the weather is insane right now. It is so hot and I think it's just going to get hotter. It's going to be like 45 degrees when... So yeah, I'm going to dash and see where this person is for their car and um, I will catch up with you soon. Hey guys, so um, I have just been had my eyebrows done. As you can see, they've been laminated. This one is always so nice and this one isn't as nice, but apparently there's loads of baby hairs in there that are growing and coming out. So fingers crossed, it will start to look like this brow, but I'm really obsessed with having laminated brows. I really love them. First time I was a bit like, Oh, um, but I have been embracing them and loving them. Um, I'm a little bit sunburnt. Um, it's not too bad now compared to what it was. Um, I'm just going to do some um, after sun. I've messaged my friend and she recommended the Piz Buan after sun. Um, I'll link it below. Um, she swears by it. She said it works like overnight. I have just been using a standard vitamin C moisturiser, which has actually been working amazingly um probably not one that i would have chosen but it was like all i had in so i'm gonna um pop some of that on um my arms seem to have turned and be all right it's just a little bit on my chest and then some on my leg as well so i'm gonna get that done and then at the minute i'm trying to like really sort out the house and tidy up and I don't know, just like get everything in order and almost like a spring clean, but in summer, if that makes sense. So um, I'm going to dash, I think, and get to some food on for us. Oh no, the cat's just gone out the window. Um, and then I'm going to do some washing, boring home stuff. Um, I always say to myself, oh, it's fine, just do it, and then you have to do it again. But the reality is that you you have to do it all the time. When you're an adult, You it never stops unless you have someone for you, if you're fortunate enough to have that. So um, I'm going to um, put a wash in, do a couple of admin bits. I've got a couple of videos to edit and sort out. Um, if you watched my last video... You'll see that it's taken, when I say last video, it'll be a few videos ago. Um, you'll see that it has taken a while for me to kind of get my bum into gear. I want it, this is for lack of a better word, um, term. And get them edited. Um, if you haven't seen it, I will link it above so that you can see that and what has been going on um as i said in the video i've not wanted to delve too deeply into it <laughs> silly sausage okay so um i was gonna tell you something else but do you know what i'm gonna save it i'm gonna dash do our dinner get the house sorted and i'll catch up with you guys later hey guys so i've actually changed the settings on my camera and i feel like it's doing like really zoomed in shots now as opposed to like yeah, the back ones um anyway so i am just waiting on gav finishing work and coming home because i have a massage booked um for tonight um it's actually a voucher that i had from a friend that i work with um and she gifted it to me for um some work on a website so um we've been meaning to go together because she did have a membership for there 
and we just like couldn't get the same schedule i was away she was away and then i think in the end she's actually cancelled her membership so um i've just booked it because it actually expired a couple of days ago and i rang them and they said it's fine i could still use it so um I'm going for that tonight. It's a full body massage, but I get use of all the facilities as well. Um, I'm going to try and get there a bit earlier, but it depends what time Gav gets back because I know um, we both have so much going on with work right now. Um, so I doubt that he'll be on time. So, um, but we'll see. And then I think we may probably, like, I think Gav's going to meet me on the terrace like the hotel that I'm having the massage at has like a really nice terrace and I think we're gonna go there and um, sit and have like a drink on there after and then probably pick up a Chinese or something on the way home um, I really want sushi but I know Gav doesn't like sushi and like, it breaks my heart but he's not actually properly tried it but I, it's expensive isn't it to like to test out if he's not gonna like it so um yeah that is the plan for today so i will see you in there hey guys so i'm in the spa right now um this is actually a new swimming costume that um i've recently got and it was from tesco um i think i showed it in my last vlog actually and it was like um, which I cannot believe because I think it looks really nice. Um, I'll probably wear it when I go on holiday in winter because I think like with it being sparkly it will look super nice. Um, so I've not had long that I got here a lot later than I was hoping. I literally have three minutes to be up for my massage because they asked me to be up like 15 minutes before. Um, so I'm going to go um, up now, I'll probably change out my costume and just put my underwear on. Um, luckily this morning I put on water and mascara um, and I've just been in the sauna and steam room. I went in the jacuzzi a little bit but I've literally had like 15 minutes so not ideal, I'm really gutted um, but it is a lovely spa and I actually have like another spa day booked in for here anyway. Um, so that I got for work again. I keep getting spa days for work um, with a friend, so I will have like a full day and like dinner and everything then. So um, I'm not too disheartened, and it is actually so nice here. I'm gonna have a look at what the membership prices are like, um, and if they're not too expensive, I might actually look into coming because. I really love like doing this, just like having some time away and I don't get it a lot now I've got a little girl, I don't get that time away a lot. So um, I think I might have a look into the membership if it's not too expensive. because it's um, really dark in here. But I'm currently in the relaxation room and I have a tea and a um, glass of water. So I'm just having a bit of time in here. I'm the only person in here. Um, and then I'm gonna probably go meet Gav uh, for a drink on the terrace after. But um, that massage was insane. Like. You know when you like I'm always like oh they don't don't press firm enough but that was like a really soft and gentle massage but honestly I kept feeling myself go um and like I'm pretty sure I may have fell asleep at one point and I just feel like I don't know like a load of tension has been released um because to begin with I was like oh gosh this isn't a um, a very like they're not going to work out much tension here 
but actually it's one of the most relaxing massages I've ever had. Um, it was so nice. And as well, like, even the way like she spoke to me was like really sensual and like calming. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill out here a bit and then I will go to the terrace to meet Gab. Hey guys, so um, I had my massage last night and then we ended up going on the terrace ooh, at um, the hotel and I had like two cocktails and then we got home. I think we shared a bottle of Prosecco. <laughs> and then um, had a gin. You had a gin. Um, I actually feel okay today. Well, I say I feel okay. I am having hot sweats, but it is really hot. Despite it not looking very nice, it is 28 degrees, but it's just like really dull and like humid and bleh. So, um, and I've also been feeling really sick, um, but I don't think it was the drink. I don't think it was. Um, it's probably the Chinese that we had last night. We had a Chinese. Um, Ren, bless her, is struggling. Like, it is so hot. She's got like a heat rash. You see hello? <laughs> She's got a heat rash and um, bless her. It's just like, she just can't cope. Um, so we, I nipped out this morning, got her some Puritan um, and some other bits to like soothe that um, and the other thing I know I said earlier in this video that I had something exciting and I never actually told you so I'm actually on my way there now um, you play with your fishies and and yeah then you go swimming you are so uh, and my, and my, and my yeah, one minute maybe. Um, so last week we were on our way to collect a parcel from the post office and I sat there thinking my car is um, due in, um, in a couple of months but um, it's because I have it on finance and I have it on higher purchase. Um, so I own the car at the end but I just pay monthly instalments. And I was like, mm, what am I gonna get next? So I <laughs> I think I saw an ad or something for money off um, this local dealership. So I had to look at what cars I had in stock and I saw a Porsche and I was like, oh, should we, should we just go and have a look? So, um, and we also bumped into someone who said that they were selling hot tubs really cheap um, in B&Q. So we were like, right, we'll go and look at the car and then we'll go and look at a hot tub um on the way back and we got there but the car actually wasn't in because it was on a part exchange and it wasn't due to be in at the end of the month until the end of the month so um they were like do you want us to do the fact like the figures on it and we we're like mm, okay we'll just see and i was like never gonna be able to afford this but let's just see what um comes up and it came up exactly the same price as the car that we currently have, which is a Nissan Qashqai. So we were like, what the hell, that's crazy. So um, anyway, the place that we went to um, has another dealership over the other side of the island, um, which is actually their official Porsche dealership. So I said, why don't we dri drive over there? We took Ren swimming and I was like, why don't we drive over there after to have a look at the car? Cause we've never actually seen it in person. Um, and what I like, what actually started this off is I saw someone that I work with um, pull up um, to an appointment with me in a Porsche. Um, and that just like set me off. Um, so we went to go and have a look at it and we were going to have a test drive but we wanted to get back and um, get the barbecue on and then they were like is this one out of your price range because it's a lot higher spec it's a newer car um, it's an ex showroom car so it has like everything in it um, leather seats and everything so we looked at it and we we're like yeah it is and then they were like let us see what we can do for you on it 
anyway um the next day we arranged to have a test drive in it um we took it to the boat show go see you did go see willow and um we went to the boat show but we had to have it back uh, by four because they shut at four so we got it back they did all the figures and everything on it anyway we ended up well i ended up signing for it um well agreeing it and then signing for it so um, they've been preparing the car this week um, I have had ceramic put on it um, <clears throat> which is like a coating like a lacquer on the car which protects the paint and everything and especially because our parking space at our house is under a tree and we get so much rubbish fall on the car from this tree and we're supposed to pick it up this morning but they said because it's been so hot it's taken longer for the ceramic coating to adhere to the car so um we're en route now to go and pick it up um and i cannot wait i'm so excited um i never like i've been building up my cars for years like i started off with a little uh, beetle and i just keep like trading in and i uh, upgrading my car and i in my head i was like right the goal is a range rover never in my life did i ever think that i would be able to afford a porsche it's crazy so we're en route now i will see you at the dealership and i will show you the car hey guys so i'm currently in the dealership now i think this is my car here that is ready to be uncovered i'm so excited um, but we're just waiting. I think they're moving some, some cars around outside. So the um, brand manager isn't actually here at the minute. So I'm just waiting on him coming back and then we're gonna have the big reveal. Wow, good job. <laughs> good job. So it's just me and Ren. Um, you when, saw the when big. Daddy ran out for drinks. He's gone for drinks, hasn't he? Um, so I've dropped Gav off for drinks um, with his friends. Um, it's a stag do for, um, I think, a guy from football. So me and Ren have just done a um, Dunham trip. We got some new pillows just because ours are getting quite lumpy at the minute. Um, and, and, and we, a fan as well, didn't we? We, we went to Mount, the Mount Hunting Suet. Yeah, we went to, to, to Dunham, didn't we? Oh, steady, don't you hurt yourself? Um, so yeah, we went to Dunham, got a fan because even though it the temperature has dropped, um, it's still like really humid and stuffy. So I got a fan and that will last us through winter as well. And my plan is to, in the winter, even when we're not using it, move it into the spare room and have it on while I'm doing a run so that it's nice and cool. Um, because at the minute, when I've tried to do a run in there, it's just unbearable. Um, so that's the plan. But um, I literally feel like I just want to go everywhere. Like, I need to, like, try and compose myself. Like, Mommy. I honestly could cry. Mommy. Um, we, we, is literally like we, a dream come true, and we, um, and, and it just the feels like closed. yeah, the playground closed. Yeah, I could honestly just cry. Like I'm really having to compose myself, um, because this is literally like a dream come true. Never in my life did I ever think that I would own a Porsche. Um, I'm still in such disbelief. Um. And I'm just honestly like 
oh I'm so grateful um and it feels like all my hard work is like finally paying off um and I spoke to my friend the other day and she's like that's one ticked off the list what is next and I honestly never thought this would happen like honestly I can't tell you like how much it means and how like excited I am and overwhelmed I am um with this like absolutely unreal and I've got to say like the guys at Jackson's um who sort of does out with this car they were really good so um just a big thank you to those um they also gave us a bottle of champagne um it's actually in the boot a bottle of Tattinger in a box um so I'm gonna pick Gav up He's not staying out late. Um, we'll get something to eat and then I think we'll crack it open and just chill and watch TV while we drink it. Um, we were looking in Waitress because they usually do a good offer on a champagne, but they didn't have any offers on. Um, and we'd just given a bottle um, of Tattinger to a friend um, for looking after the cat. So we didn't have, we had a bottle of Moe in um but then that was it like we usually try and keep a stock on of um champagne and wines and stuff so we're gonna crack that open tonight i think and um just chill and really make the most of it and enjoy it so i just want to show you a few features inside so um it actually has a leather heated steering wheel which is absolutely insane <laughs> obviously we don't need that in the summer months as of yet but if I show you over here I can actually set the key you can see the little key thing there so down here my goodness it's a squeeze so down here I actually have the um, seat controls and I think there's like seven different controls um, but I can then set the seat to my own preference with by using these buttons so we have two keys so I can set Gavin's preferences to one key and then my preferences to the other key so that whenever we come into the car and turn on the engine the seat automatically changes to our preferences uh, which is amazing um, I have a full leather interior as you can see it is um, this like I'd say grey, it's like a grey, browny grey tone, like a taupe and then um, I can't remember what this is called, I think you can have like wooden finishes um, and then it's two tones so it's obviously the cream leather seats um, with the like I want to say like charcoal, it's like a charcoal grey and then Oh, that's like on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what that's called. Um, and then if you look at the headrests, it has the Porsche logo embossed into them. And it also has the same on the armrest. Um, Ren tried to step over this. As you can see, there's <laughs> some marks that need cleaning on it. Um, and then here are all the controls um again i have the porsche embossed thing there with a cd player also i can put sd cards sim cards in um so that i can actually play my own music and i can also download um it from an sd card onto the car so that um i can just play my music without having any of the sd cards and all of that oh my goodness look at the state of it already so in the middle obviously all Porsches uh, when I say obviously I didn't actually know this apparently all Porsches are automatic so um, that is there also have um, down here these are all things to change the settings of the car so I can put it into like sport mode sport plus um, can change like the suspension off-roading like so I can change like the exhausts um, and all this I, to be honest I don't think I'm going to use these I have tried sport and sport plus it just means that it revs a bit more and it lowers the suspension and like when you press it it lights up a load of other controls to be honest I'm not too like savvy with cars to be able to know exactly what they are they did talk me through it 
Um, and then in there is a cigarette lighter. Now, apparently they all come with cigarette lighters. Like I didn't think cars had those anymore, but apparently they do. Um, also, I have like this touchscreen um, computer thing in the middle where I can um, navigate all the different um, settings on here. You can see the car and is par has parking assist and um, I've got cameras and sensors on as well. This little clock here is really cool because it is a clock but also a stopwatch as well. So if I was racing the car and wanted to do some laps, I can actually set this and control it from the steering wheel so that it times me and times laps as well. Not that I'll be using that, but um, yeah, bizarre that I've got that as a function. And then I have like the standard controls here and I also have um, like a mini map here where you can see your navigation and you can scroll through them with the steering wheel here um, and you can view different aspects of the car so you can see um, like all the tyre pressure, obviously the car's not turned on so it's not showing the tyre pressure um, it shows like whether you're driving rear wheel or front wheels um, and that kind of stuff stuff um yeah bluetooth you can control like your phone and everything from here my favorite is to have it on the map because i like to see that little view of the map here as well as seeing it over there um so that's about it with features inside the car um i oh i forgot i do oh my god look at the state of it i've been parked under the tree um and literally within a few hours we already have dirt on the dirt on the roof but the um roof does actually come up um and it does also go back as well like a full sunroof and as well if i shut it has a screen to wait for it to finish um it also has a screen that you've just seen does go back and if i pull that um forward I can also I can also like pull the screen back as well if you don't want a I think they're called panoramic roofs um, and that comes all the way forward um, but it still is like a bit see-through which I really like because um, you still kind of get that I don't know outside effect but it's just not as intense so that is it for the new car pretty much um, I'm actually surprised that I remember <laughs> as many functions as I do, but I am just so in love. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, it also has Bose, I don't know if you can see, it's a bit dark, but it also has Bose um, speaker system in the car. Now the bass on it is like super strong when you play music um, and Ren has been loving, loving um, controlling the sound system. So I'm going to head in, get Ren some dinner, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Hey guys, so I am just getting ready for the day. Um, I didn't catch up with you yesterday because it was just such a mad day. We um, did something called, well I didn't, Gav did. Um, it's something called It's a Knockout in Jersey. And um, our friend's charity um, run it to try and raise money uh, for the charity. It's sponsored by a couple of local companies. And you enter like a team of 10 and you all compete uh, against each other in these really funny games. So I'll put a video on so you can see the kind of thing that it is. Um, just because the weather has all of a sudden turned. Like it's been so nice and sunny. Um, and like barbecue weather and then overnight there's been like a storm, thunder and lightning and it has been horrific. So yeah, it's a shame they had to move it inside but they did incredible to still like get their show on the road and carry on. I have also picked up a delivery. So I ordered this a bit ago and you can see, look, I don't know if you see on camera, can you see the box looks like it has been in the storm? Um, and it got stuck in customs because I had to pay um, GST on it. And then it never got cleared and I was like, where is my parcel? Um, so I emailed them and they said, we've got it here. We can either deliver it to you 
um, tomorrow or you can come straight to the um, post office headquarters and pick it up. So obviously I was straight in my car um, over to pick it up. So let me show you. So it is the new Dyson Airwrap. Now I have waited the longest for this. Um, they keep having the pink version and sometimes the copper and nickel in stock. Um, the ones that are exclusive to Dyson that are all copper and the little bit of nickel and the blue and copper are so hard to get hold of. I don't think I've actually seen the blue and copper in stock in the long version. Now, obviously I have really long hair, so I need the long version, but um, I had to go ahead and just buy the standard one. I set up alerts for when it was in stock and I've still not seen the um, long version of the blue in stock since they've launched it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, so when I saw that the short was in stock, I snapped it up and I've actually bought attachments in the long size as well. <laughs> so that um, I've got those, but I've not unwrapped it yet. But as you can see, oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna hold off and I'm gonna film a video of me trying it out. I'm not gonna open it just so you can see like first impressions of me like unwrapping it, obviously. I can see some bits now, um, but I'm going to save trying it out in a video for you guys, but I cannot wait to give it a go. Um, I did try the original air wrap and I have got a video pending on that one, but I'll also film this one and I'll do like a comparisons video as well um, to share my thoughts. But I'm so excited. I just am obsessed with this colour. I cannot wait to try it out. But I've also heard that apparently if you take your Airwrap box to a Dyson store, they emboss your name, like your initials, onto the front of it. Um, and I'm so tempted. But then I guess if I do that, would I be able to sell it um, in the future? That's the only other thing but um, I love it and cannot wait to give it a go. So that is all for today's video. Keep an eye out for the other content that is coming soon, but for now, I will see you soon. Bye.